Yo, what's up? <clears throat> I'm live and I'm recording. John Fitch Knows Nothing, episode three. Sipping on some coffee, drinking lots of coffee today. I am in Orlando, Florida. Uh, I'm on the right coast, so it's actually getting close to 1230 here. Um, it's a bit odd. But I'm out here for the, uh, the 21 convention, 21 con. Um, it's kind of a, a manosphere men's group uh, conference. A lot of guys talking about guy stuff. G. Gillespie is popping on. What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting started here, but uh, let's play something first. Gravity working against me. <laughs> Gravity wants to bring me down. That's why I got the weights. I'll never know what makes a man with all the love. To stand. Dream of ways to throw it all away. Sure, John Mayer, you sure you don't know why? Gravity is working against me. Gravity wants to bring me down. It's not going to work. I lift weights. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? Mm. I was romanticizing you with my my uh, angelic voice. <sighs> Make you listen to me slurp my coffee. Um, yeah, I'm down here in Orlando, 21 Con. I got to um, got to hear George Bruno speak this morning. It was pretty cool. And uh, Ed Lattimore, big fan of Ed Lattimore like his writing uh and he is a wizard of the twitters uh give them both a peek if you guys don't know who they are haven't seen them but um yeah it's good talks it's a uh, good energy it's a good number of people here um should be a lot of fun this will be a little bit shorter of a show because i got to get back down to um the rest of the speakers. I think AJ Cortez is going next. It'll be coming up about like 115, 130-ish. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, Ivan Throne, I think, is also speaking later. Oh no, he's speaking one of their days. But yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good speakers. It's going to be cool to uh, kind of see what they're talking about. Um, George Bruno pretty much did a uh, like a theater performance type thing today, which was um, it's kind of uncomfortable to watch because it was a generalized experience that I think most guys in that room have been through in some level. So it was kind of uh, I don't know. It was almost like you see somebody else acting out your life or something. And it's uh it's a little creepy, but it's like so consistent with so many experiences. Guys are having the exact same type of experiences. We're all conditioned in the same ways. We all became, I don't know, unplugged in the same ways at different times. Uh it's pretty wild. But uh yeah, I'm looking forward to uh the rest of the speakers. Should be a lot of fun. Um but yeah, Orlando, I don't know what's going on in Orlando. If we'll have time later, <clears throat> I don't know if I have time to go out afterwards because I'll be um, 
Yeah, I want to get up in the morning the next morning. I'm old, man. I can't I can't go out and hang all night and then uh, get up and still do shit. Maybe I will. I don't know. Soldier through it. <laughs> I've done, uh, done it before. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this conference, but this is like the 18th one they've done. They've done them. Uh, a lot in Florida here, but then a lot all over the place. They did a couple in, uh, I think, Poland. They actually did one in Poland this summer. But, yeah, interesting uh, days to come. I'm glad I'm out here. Sorry that I, I missed yesterday. I had to uh, travel, so I didn't have time to do one. I also wasn't able to do the, uh, the Rip Hill Smash Brothers show with Corey Capella. I wasn't able to make that one either, so I was in the air. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to try to do, we should be able to make our Saturday morning one. Uh, it might be a little bit earlier to make sure I have time to get to the other talks. But yeah. Man. So what are you guys doing? What's everybody up to? Keith Farella says John Fitch for Super Bowl halftime show. Ooh, make it happen. Let's do it. The most entertaining man in the universe. G. Kalapi, change your last name to Mayor. Oh, no. Should change his last name to Fitch. Dado says, I like it. Which organization are you in now? I am the Bellator welterweight champ. Don't let them fucking bullshit you. I beat, I beat Rory. I won. I had the only judge scoring me as a winner. The other two scored a tie. I won a fight. I also had 10-8 uh, rounds on all three judges' scorecards in the, the third. Come on. Come on. Enough of the politics. It's not pro wrestling. I mean, it is, but... Alex, grapple what? We want me to grapple. Myself? No. Brother Hodges, bro, I am at, uh, I'm in Orlando. I'm in Orlando right now at the 21 convention. Oh, my hair is looking quite dapper. Gee, said, uh, I had to turn you down before my wife heard a few. I know, it would have been all over, dude. Angels singing. Oh, Alex, man, how do you think Dave Camarillo is going to do against Tim Kennedy? What are they doing? I was unaware of uh, of this. Are they doing uh, some kind of challenge? I'm not sure what's going on. I didn't hear about this. I'm out of the loop, ma'am. Kavali, Khabib, yes. Khabib time. You're correct. Uh, Dado, do you train in Orlando? I haven't trained in Orlando. If there's any, uh, there's anybody in Orlando who wants to get some training in, um, I'm available for small groups. You can make something happen, possibly. Wouldn't mind hedging some of the uh, expenses on the trip. But yeah, have him reach out. Lee the Flea, what's up, ma'am? Don't mean to go off topic, but what do you think about Larkin apparently getting the next title shot? You arguably beat Rory. I agree. Uh, at least let me fight. Let me fight. Uh, um, let me fight Larkin. Right? I'll fight Larkin. You know, before Christmas or some shit. Right? Makes sense to me. Winner fights for the title. Boom. Easy peasy, Japanesey lemon squeezy. I should be running the show. EE, <laughs> e, what's up, bro? A boxer in the house says, uh, Why are Ohio so good at wrestling? Why are Ohio? Why are Ohio good at wrestling? <laughs> okay. Um, Ohio is just a big. 
state. It's really big, so there's a lot of people in it. So you have a larger number of people, and it's a very blue-collar factory type uh, state, right? It's kind of like Ohio is just like Ohio. It's big, but like it's the same everywhere. <laughs> there's not much differentiation. So there's a lot of blue collar. So there's a lot of. So like we always used to say, like when when we were in Indiana, we would go over and wrestle um, guys from Ohio or Ohio tournaments in high school or whatever. We always said that uh, the guys from Ohio, like their their average guy was always pretty good. Like their average guy was better than most teams starters you know uh, around in indiana but um you know they're, they're, you know our top guys sometimes could beat their top guys but like they're they're like average um is uh was at a higher level i think it's just population popularity more blue collar type steel um work you know, nicely steel, but uh, factory, but I don't know, more of a foundation there, more community support. Donovan, what kind of HGH are you taking? I'm not. I am uh, currently clean. The only uh, growth hormone I have is natural and my testosterone is at a good level because I lift weights and eat lots of meat. Uh, I haven't found a need for uh, TRT or any of the other stuff yet. But I have no problem with it when uh, the time comes, when I'm 50. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be on stuff when, uh, until the day I die because I'd rather, I'd rather look like Stallone at 72 or 73 than, uh, than most other shriveled up people. But, um, yeah. Alex, what's up, John? Thoughts on Maya versus Askren? It'd be interesting how Ben uh, bounces back, see if he can, see if he uh, gets submitted, you know, see how slick uh, Maya's jiu-jitsu is. But no, this is like what should have been, you know, happened a long time ago. Just, we want to see these matchups. We want to see these best, the best guys, the winners, go against each other. It's cool. I think it's, I don't know. It's more of the original sport that I fell in love with than this uh, pro wrestling masturbation of it. Magic elephant culture. Uh, for Ohio wrestling, you're correct. Yep, culture. Um, I talk about. I've talked about this with uh, some some sports uh, teams about. Um, Developing championship cultures, and I've I've seen this. I've seen it um, growing up uh, when I was in high school and stuff. You know, there were teams that had cultures around a certain sport, and it was the cool thing to do. It was how you got the chicks. It was where the people went on Friday night. Maybe if it was football, or if it was wrestling, whatever. Um, these different schools would have cultures around those sports, and they always succeed, and they always had people at the highest levels of the state tournaments and everything. And it was obvious why. Um, and usually it was a lot of times there were towns with a factory nearby where a lot of people were born, raised, lived, and died in the same place. King Hap, what's up, dude? You did, he says, what up, John? You did win that fight. Shake my fucking head. Um, S-M-F-H. Yep, I believe you and me. Moses, what's up, man? Nigeria. Hey, man, tell that prince I want my money. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alex, how's Dave Camarillo going to do against Kennedy? I don't know, bro. You asked that already, but I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. You got to give me more details. Enigmatic Elephant doesn't think you won that fight. Ooh. <coughs> oh, I feel betraying. I hear, yes, thanks for the support. Oh, Enigmatic, you're, you're going to get blocked. 
He uses baby, Mike Elvis says, he uses baby Jesus powers. <laughs> His little baby Jesus. He didn't. Uh, yeah, Jesus Jesus granted him a uh, uh, a miracle. The judge has granted him a miracle by awarding him a decision of a draw. G. Kalapi, do you have anything in the works, fight wise? No, I was kind of sitting around waiting to see if I was gonna, you know, get the uh, get the winner of the uh, the tournament, right? And then I started talking about monsoon, or whatever, because like, uh, yeah, I was I'm probably gonna be retired, <laughs> right? If uh, if that's the case, yeah, I won that fight, bro. Alex, how does Dave do against strong wrestlers like you? Uh, if he is fresh and has momentum, he's still uh, dangerous, you know. But if you slow him down, if you get him tired, um, let me kind of fix my beard here. Uh, you know, you can use strength and pressure to wear him down and dominate. But you've got to be careful early. Because he's he's really slick, really fast, and really flexible. Dado thoughts thought Jack Ray Souza trains in Orlando. Figured me be by the gym. Um, no, I was I was coming. I'm here for a different reason. I wasn't thinking about training. Uh, I guess I could have looked ahead and called ahead and found things to do, but I've mostly just been lifting lately. I haven't done much cardio and. Uh, I've only done a little bit of jiu-jitsu. Gee, he says, because they can't drive for crap, so they spend all the time grappling, maybe? <laughs> what? Oh, I see. <laughs> the Ohio, your Ohio wrestlers. <laughs> they can't drive. Yeah, they're too busy grappling. TJ, what's up, dude? TJ Zuff in the house. Make elephant and your voice changed. A lot from your earlier vids. Was that the T? Be honest, though. <laughs> My voice changed. No. I think um, I've become more comfortable in uh, in my new reality, I think. I think that's a lot of it. You know, it's been a transition from married with kids to single dad with half your shit gone. <laughs> But now I'm in a much better mood. Maybe that's probably it. <clears throat> uh, at Boxer One says, the Elephant, you're about to be on his naughty list, man. Be careful. <laughs> Alex says, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot you used to be vegan. Good to hear you're not doing that nonsense anymore. Yes, it was very stupid. It was dumb. Uh, I lost a lot of muscle mass. I ended up getting hurt a lot. It was just bad. My body looked awful. That was like, I hadn't fully recovered from the veganism before, like when I was going into the uh, Johnny Hendricks fight. I think that's that's a big reason why I got knocked out like that. And I think um, the injury at the beginning of the training camp that I got and sustained was, was because my body was weaker from that vegan lifestyle. It was just not, not healthy for me. It wasn't good for me personally. TJ says, uh, hey, John, how's the 21 convention so far? Really cool, man. I'm really enjoying it. I've gotten to talk to a few people that uh, were really cool. And uh, I've had two speakers so far. Anthony uh, did some uh, stuff at the beginning. <clears throat> so three technically. But, you know, uh, it was really cool to hear Ed Lattimore talk. George Bruno did a really cool performance, basically. Yeah, it's uh, it's been worth the trip so far. Thomas Manzanero. Hi, John. What do you think of France legalizing MMA? Oh, that's really cool. I'd love to go to France and see their underpants. Uh, no, uh, I would like to go, and that would be cool to teach there. Uh, we have a guy, um, Antoine, uh, who, who, who comes over and trains with us sometimes. He's from, from France. I think he might be in uh, Thailand right now. I don't know. I follow him on Instagram. 
and um, it'd be cool to get out there and uh, see him and go to some gyms, teach, and then maybe be in an event. That'd be awesome. TJ says, uh, are you getting men recognizing you there? Also, are you networking, telling me about your John Fitch Knows Nothing and Fitch Mash? Yes, I am networking, meeting lots of people, and um, telling people about the new podcast. John Fitch Knows Nothing, absolutely. Um, then we also have Fitch and Tinkle Smash Everything. It's another podcast I do, if you guys want to check that out sometimes. And then I also have um, the Red Pill Smash Bros. That's another uh live stream podcast thing I do. And then uh, the other one is I want I do one with Jason Burmis here on YouTube uh, called uh, Mixed Martial Mindset. And that's usually on Mondays. Tater Lord, what's up? Love your fights, animal. Roar. Thanks. What are you laughing at? Um, Lee the Flea, did you hear about Greg Hardy and Inhaler Gate? He's now he's getting a shot versus Alexander Volkov. Maybe too much too soon. No, nah, man, this, I tell you, man, they do this over and over again. They they want to use you up fast. They want to use you up fast while they can get you and then get you out. All right, so they're gonna make some quick money off of them and get them out. They don't want to invest and in, in keep along for a long time. That's not what they want to do. But I will, man. This is gonna be a lot of trouble. I read through the police reports and like the the, the detailed articles about his uh, his his, um, his incident, his uh, domestic violence incident. That technically is alleged. It's alleged because he wasn't charged, he wasn't tried or convicted, and um, the girl dropped everything. There was a settlement. So it's alleged, I guess. But I don't know, man. I, I read through that, and it it sounded iffy. Like it was like they were doing stuff. They're drinking, had cocaine. They split for the night, and she went home with Nelly, right? She went, yeah. She liked the rapper Nelly. So like, it sounds like uh, she kind of a clout chaser a little bit, maybe. Uh, and then he might have tried to break up with her and kick her out and then she might have been coming at him i don't know man it sounds it sounds not so cut and dry i don't know i mean she was bruised up pretty bad but yeah i mean well if she's a small woman she could have been freaking out on him and she did she she's not going to put a mark on him that's okay. So it only matters if you put the mark on somebody. I don't know what the answer is. It's just, it's just weird. I thought because I, I don't know because I heard, I've just heard secondhand stuff about everything. I haven't read anything about it. I didn't read any details about it. It sounded awful the way everybody was making it sound, but I, maybe I misunderstood reading it because I don't know. Like the perception I got from what people were saying about it wasn't quite what. Uh, I got out of reading the details. Is that just me? Anybody else get that? Anybody else read read through the stuff? I don't know. Matic Elephant says, Jesus granted him a L. Judges granted him a you lost, but you didn't draw. Boxer One says, Greg Hardy's Nick name is god of war but he used to be used an inhaler between rounds <laughs> god of war god of war with asthma the god of war has asthma that's why he's so angry l l v marie what's up it says hi john how you doing Dado says, thanks for the time and answering questions. Wish you luck for the next fight and stay healthy. We'll do, bro. And Boxer 1 says, 21 plus 48 <laughs> convention. <laughs> no. 
that's if you do a, a, a co-ed type thing. You had to do a women's convention over here, and then the, the 21 count over here, and then they they do that. Magnetic elephant says oxygen gains. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. So the Ed Hardy thing, that's weird because. That that wasn't really his his mistake. Like he did everything right. He did everything he was supposed to. He told them about it. He asked for permission, and the commission said okay, and everything was allowed, I guess. But um, it wasn't after the fact. So now they're gonna. So he's penalized, but now they may overturn it, make it a no contest. I'm interested in hearing about. Uh, do the guys who gets does anybody get the win bonus? Is there a win bonus type of deal? How do they amend this? How do they make sure it doesn't happen ever again? I don't know. <clears throat> Alex says, I used to watch all those vegan meal videos you used to make. Haha. <laughs> At the time, I was like, wow. Yeah, I was uh, I got fooled. So like what happened with that is I um, It wasn't just that I started going vegan this I, I went I clean I started eating clean so I cut out Processed foods like so all, of, all the processed foods and the extra sugar was what was making me not feel as good and get tired and run down and different different issues so when I cut the processed food and the sugars um, and the artificial sugar stuff that's why I felt so great. And I felt great for a little while, but then after a while, like it's, you start feeling the effects of not having the meat and the protein. So like I can only go like a couple weeks, two to three weeks without having something to eat, a, a meat on the weekend. And then I finally broke down and did the uh, weekday vegan thing. So I was going five days a week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Five days a week I was uh, no meat, no animal product and then i had cheap meals kind of basically on the weekend i could eat you know what i wanted to but it was still all clean and it wasn't processed food and that's where the real benefit came from so i finally started working with a different nutritionist and started eating uh six meals a day a lot more meat yeah a lot more meat meat is good and fat is good G Galapi, what's up? Uh, says we will see. Will we see you on Joel Rogan Experience in the near future? If I get an invite, I would do it. That'd be cool. Patrick says uh, just wanted to thank you for your great bites. Ooh, cool, dude. Thank you. Lee the Flea says uh, he wasn't even being pushed that hard, but had won those two rounds and used the inhaler, then lost. Round three, it was bizarre. Yeah, well, I mean, it was heavyweights, man. A lot of times they're not used to pushing around that much size for that long. 15 minutes can be a long time for somebody who's 240 plus. It's a lot of oxygen to those muscles. Boxer One says uh, the background is fake. This background is fake. It's all paper. Let's see. Uh, you see the... The hotel. <laughs> Thomas says, who in the light heavyweight division can beat John Jones in your opinion? I don't really know, man. I don't know. The, the It seems like light heavyweight weight class kind of got weak all of a sudden. Um, man. I think somebody that is aggressive is willing to wrestle with them and, and take chances. Somebody who's strong will be able to do it. It's probably some Russian guy we've never heard of yet <laughs> is out there, and he's got he's got John Jones's number. But uh, we're gonna have to would be patient for him to, to show up. <laughs> D. Pef says uh, 1998. We are told not to get into the car with strangers. 
DPEF says 2007. We were told not to meet people off the internet. Mm -hmm. DPEF then says, stranger off the internet and get into car with him. Yes, I've heard that joke. Um, that is a funny joke because now we use the internet and our phone to get in a car with a stranger and drive away. But the stranger has been, you know, vetted by a company. So not exactly the same as a stranger. It's like if your parents signed a note and said some so-and-so could pick you up from school. It's kind of the same. But I get the joke. I get the joke. Donovan says he should have took the inhaler under a towel or something like <laughs> Nobody's going to notice. He's like, oh, put the towel over my head. <laughs> like you're smoking a joint at the beach. <laughs> and hot box the blanket. Oh, that's funny. At least you're thinking about it. You're not cheating. You're not trying, right? Hey, Boxer One, did you get any hate from vegans when you abandoned them? I got a couple not so nice uh, messages on my videos <clears throat> when I went back to meet. Yeah. Turns out I, I picked up some followers or some subscribers who started following me because the vegan stuff and then started putting meat up. They, they didn't really take kindly to it. That's a monster, murderous monster. And you double posting down. Matthew Fox says Rusumar Polaris has a big douchebag as way. Oh, what? Rusumar Polaris is as big a douchebag as we all think, John. I mean, I didn't like talk to him. He's seems kind of like a, I mean, simple minded kind of guy. He didn't really, you know. I don't think he has really any ill intent. I don't know, unless he's faking. I don't know. I don't really know him other than just the fight. And I just think he's a little off, you know? I don't know. You ever met somebody like that? You just think he's a little, oh, this guy's a little slow. Maybe he's acting. Maybe it's a game. He's made, playing a trick on people. Could be a genius. It's like uh, Kevin Spacey's character in uh, Usual Suspects. <laughs> maybe. Maybe he's really like freaking genius level. Leave the flea. Says uh, that one drunk girl thought a car that pulled up was her Uber and got murdered. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's happened a couple times. There wasn't an Uber guy that went on a rampage. People are, uh... yeah, there's a lot of weirdos out there. I started watching that Mind Hunter on Netflix. It's pretty good. It's like the, the, loosely based story of the creation of like the criminal minds investigating unit or whatever the hell they call it. I don't know what they call it, but, um, yeah, that's pretty good because you get a chance to watch that one. Floodland WTF is going on. Nothing much, man. I am out in Orlando and I am, uh, being entertained by the 21 conference. Having a good time. Floodland says, Airbnb scares me. Staying in a stranger's home. <sighs> yeah, that could be that could be a little weird, especially if you're like a girl. I could see how that could be extra weird. Who knows what kind of like creepy cameras and spy shit they put up places. I don't know, man. Just, yeah. They need to uh, create some kind of wand thing. You can like bug your room, see if your room's bugged, see if there's cameras up. Floodland says Orlando, that's a big flight. It was two medium sized flights. I had layover in Minneapolis. It wasn't so bad. Sorry, it was a good trip. Delta was actually not so bad this time. Uh, which is saying a lot because all the airports kind of suck ass now. I don't know anybody who's like, oh my God, I had such an amazing flight. Unless they're going international or they're on an international flight, like Emirates or something. 
It's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, dudes. So I want to remind you guys that um, you can get a 15% uh, discount when you get ballsy, right, the soap. Ballwash.com. All right, you can get 15% off. Use the code word Fitch. Products are nice. I use them. Uh, I need to re up. I need to re up the uh, uh, nuts and butt body wash. I'm almost out. The nub rub is also a good product. In between uh, showers, body spray can help too. A pH balance on the go refreshing spray that helps neutralize odor and reduce itch and irritation. I say it's an in between because you know you shouldn't be <clears throat> that dirty for very long, guys. Get in the shower and wash your ass. <laughs> Use the soap and wash your ass. All right, all right, dudes. Manic Elephant says John's going to Disney World. <laughs> nope. I've been, I've been, I went to this one. This is the one we went to when I was a kid because we drove down from Indiana. Alex says, What have your workouts been like lately? I have mostly been lifting. I haven't really done much uh, cardio. I did one uh, high intensity session the other night, 15 minutes. And then I've been lifting and then I've been doing a little bit of jiu jitsu here and there. But not much. I actually took eight weeks off this summer. It's the first time I took eight weeks off in 30 years, maybe. Like eight consecutive weeks of nothing. But yeah, I've been mostly lifting now. We're getting back into jiu-jitsu and just been working on business stuff, man. Thomas says, talking about vegans, Diaz versus Masvidal, who do you think will win? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know who won. Is it at 170? I'm leaning towards the mess with all. A little bit bigger. TJ says, John, are you flying straight to SD after this for a seminar, or will you have a short break in between to take your kids to trick or treat stuff first? Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go back home. I'm back on Sunday night. <clears throat> I'll be there for the week and then I, I still have to like book my flight down there because I, I don't know. I, I was thinking I might even have to take up. I might drive or whatever, but I'll figure it out. I'll be cool. <laughs> Floodland says uh, quality nut rub. Yep, it's some good stuff. Chicks dig it. <laughs> Lead the flea says uh, reminds me of when UFC fighters were sponsored by dude wipes slap my ass off and counter people you'd laugh but I mean you have you know five of those sponsors or five of those type sponsors you're making more than what they're making from the Reebok shit I mean it's silly but and nowadays there's there's more legitimate companies that would put the money in to sponsor the fighters so G. Galapi says, after he follows me on Twitter, he can go to Disney World. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ah, funny, funny. Alan Boy says, if Conor McGregor wanted to do something positive, he should use his fame and fortune to assist and organize other MMA fighters like you're doing with your lawsuit rather than punching out old men in the bar uh, or sexually assaulting or raping women. <laughs> like... Nobody in the press is even talking about that. Like, there's a strong possibility this guy violently raped a girl last December. And the UFC and everybody knows it. And they've been covering it up and continually using his name to try to sell more fights, trying to make more money. Like, every time more allegations or more stuff pops up that's newsworthy, uh, they keep distracting it and talking about his fights or talking about something else. It's, it's pretty wild, man. It's wild to see. These people act like they care about this stuff. Like, you know, ESPN's in bed with 
with UFC now, and you and ESPN's been doing this, uh, you know, social justice thing for a while. So why aren't they? Why aren't they talking about this? Like the the stuff that's available to to hear about the uh, the incidences are are out there. They're real. Um, it's wild. Michael, South Boston, Massachusetts. What? What are you just yelling out? Where are you from? What is that? Matthew Fox says, thoughts on Kane joining WWE. It's awesome that he's, uh, man, he's going to finally cash in on hard work. Right? He'll, 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 he'll make more money doing this than he ever did fighting. Good. Good. You know, he should have he made so much money. He didn't have to do anything like this unless he was goofing around and doing it for fun. But um, yeah, good. He's having fun. He's enjoying it. Awesome. G says, honestly, though, I'm a big fan, man. Been a fan since the early days. Awesome, bro. Island Voice, Dominic Reyes, who just beat Weidman, showed has the size, reach, power, and speed to beat John Jones. It's possible. John has gotten really, like, I don't know, lackadaisical with it. Like, he's always looking for the one. He's always looking for the one one thing rather than volume. So if he gets somebody who's hungry who's just coming after him, turns into a dog fight, it could could be bad for John. Oh man, doggy style with Chris Cyborg. What up, John? She would probably snap your dick off if she wanted to, bro. <laughs> uh but uh, yeah, bros. So I'm gonna be uh, I'm recording this one. Also, I'll be turning this into a podcast. I'll put this up on Podbean. If you guys haven't subscribed to Podbean or followed me on Podbean yet, please do that. Make sure you share this. Share on Podbean if you got a chance. Um, Thomas says, "I'm sure Alexander." Ray kick, Ray kick, will be John Jones soon or later, maybe. G says at the same time though, with that fame and fortune comes leeches and people trying to get money. Hmm. So then we be live tomorrow. I'll try to yeah, I'll try to do it unless I like this again. I'm about to jump off here. G says, I'm not defending the Irishman, by the way. Yeah. No, and that's the thing is uh, somebody tried to say that, you know, the, the accusations and stuff against him were for money, but uh, they offered, came out the other day that they offered her a million bucks, a million euros, and uh, she declined. So it's not about money. It's a lot, of, a lot of disturbing stuff is available if you look a little bit deeper. I did not know that. Yep. They, uh, they already offered that. Came out the other day. Go to Jason Burmis' channel, and he's he's, report, he's reported some stuff on it, and we've talked about it a little bit too. Like I was trying to play uh, devil's advocate and some of the stuff, but, like, like he's he, – he, yeah, he, he unveiled a lot of the evidence that's out there uh, that's already been reported on, but nobody's reporting on it here in the U.S. G said that Apple League changes it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, the original the original girl from last December, the one from the violent rape, like she didn't originally go to the cops. Two of the people who were in the room went to the cops. The day after it happened, Connor, and this is all documented stuff. The day after it happened, the incident happened. The Connor went to the police station with a lawyer and and said that uh, they had sex, but it was consensual. So he admitted to having sex with this girl that night of the rape, right? They offered a million pounds for her to, to be quiet and go away. She didn't do it. She didn't go to the police originally. Two other people who were witnesses did. They're, they're working a case together, and they might actually put charges against him in the coming weeks. That's what Jason has undercovered with all the available information that's coming out from the local Irish papers. I mean, when they talk about him in their local papers, they're not allowed to say his name, but they say Irish sports star, and they use his silhouette 
and he uses silhouette blacked out like you can tell it's him you see the cow flower it's his silhouette like they're giving you all the hints they're like it eh, can't say who but they're like they're like leaning looking over it's wild Doug Style says, uh, is Jose Alder going to get smoked against Marlon at 135? <sighs> yeah, he's dropping a weight. That's wild, man. I don't see how these guys can spend so much time at one weight class and then drop 10 pounds. I could never make it down to one. I could make it to 160. There's no way. 170 is like it, baseline. I don't think I can make 169 even. Hmm. G says, and whatever happened to the girl who claims to have his child? Yep, that girl's still floating around somewhere, too. You saw the pictures of him grabbing stuff. <laughs> and then uh, the, he had, I think, two different allegations before the December rape, and then he just had another one recently in the last couple weeks. So, like, there's a lot of weird, there's, like, CCT footage of him assaulting some girl. I don't know. It's wild. Innocent will prove guilty, that's for sure. But I'm just disturbed at the lack of coverage by anybody in the press whatsoever here, especially when they're in bed with, like, ESPN, and these people are supposed to be, like, fighting for right justice, right? Not, not when it affects their, their bottom line when it comes to the money. We all know that uh, with the China stuff going on. All right, dudes, I got to get going, though, because I've got to get to the, the conference. I got to talk or uh, listen to the other speakers. I want to make sure I uh, don't miss anything. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure this out. Oh. 31 morning, we're making the rounds. Took a shot of cocaine and I shot my woman down. I went to bed, it's like 7.44 beneath my head. Oh man, I'm butchering it. I need more practice. Thanks guys. I will check you guys later. Thanks for listening. Peace out.